Hello, bebecitas, and welcome back to this beautiful channel. My name is Luz, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I remove my dip powder using an e-file and how I prep for my next set. So if you're interested in watching how I get this done, just go ahead and keep on watching. <laughs> here I have a quite a bit of growth I've had this set for about two or almost three weeks and I do have some lifting on my index finger so it's time to get this set off and get started on a new one this is the e-file that I will be using I got mine off of Amazon and it's the first e-file that I've ever gotten so I don't have anything really to compare it to and these are the bits that I start off with also I got these in on Amazon one of them is more of a cylinder type of bit and the other one is more like a cone and I start off with the cylinder one on a lower speed and the main thing that I like to start off with the lower speed is just to get the hang of it here it takes a little bit of time for me to start getting the hang of it and stop and start feeling safe to up the speed I use the drill by putting some pressure on my nail and most importantly, I like to make sure to file away from my hand. So towards, away from my face, away from my cuticle, just more towards the outer side so that I don't get hurt. And I gradually just apply more pressure. And the reason why I start off with the cylinder one is because it gets, oh, it takes away most of the bulk of the nail and I use the cone one around the cuticle and around the more delicate areas. They both have a coarser type of filing, so they're not very delicate. You do wanna go in with something a little bit more heavy duty, especially if you are using dip and you've had quite a bit of layers on this set. I had about three layers of the color plus the clear dip on top. And I like to stop right at my base layer. I do have a layer or two of natural underneath just to protect my nail so that when I go in and file, I don't file my natural nail. I just file up to the natural powder. <laughs> So here I feel a little bit more comfortable and I up the speed a little bit more just to make the process a little bit faster. And as you can see, it does remove the dip much quicker and easier than if you go slow. Just take your time, ladies. Take your time is the most advice that I can give you. Don't rush things, especially if it's the first time you're using an e-file. You do want to be safe. You don't want to cut yourself. And most importantly, just take your time, have patience, and you'll get there. As you can tell here, I do have quite a bit of lifting. So what I will do is just get my cuticle nippers and try to remove as much as possible of the lifting. This is gonna look a little bit odd at first, but I'll show you guys how I get this situated later on in the video. But I try to remove as much as, much as possible of the lifting, and this is what it came down to. Again, I'll show you guys a little bit later how I move on from this step. But for now, I'll go ahead and continue removing the dip powder from the rest of my fingernails.
So far, this is what the process is looking like. As you can see, I removed most of the color from all my fingernails and I still have a little bit left around the cuticle area and around the edges. That's when I go in with the more cone shaped bit to get around the edges and around the cuticle and just remove any extra little more delicate areas. Once I have all the color removed from the nails, this is what it's looking like. It's looking a little rough, I'm not going to lie to you, but just like with makeup and anything else, it's a process. It's not going to be complete right after the first step. So let's go ahead and continue. So remember how I removed the lifting on my index finger? I'm going to go ahead and do that with the rest of the nails. So any areas that I can see a little bit of lifting, and by lifting it looks a little bit wider than the rest of the nail, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. I'm going to remove as much as possible just so that when we continue on to the next process, we don't get any air in there and that can cause bacteria to grow and that looks, that's what can look a little bit green. That's what they call the green underneath your nail you don't want that growing under your nails because it in the long run it can really cause some damage so you want to go ahead and remove as much of the lifting as possible and then we're gonna smooth it down in a little bit but for right now let's just get all of that removed to move on to the next step this is the my nails with all of the lifting removed and this is what it's looking like so far so now that I removed all of the lifting, I'm gonna go in with my medium file. This is a regular hand file and I am going to smooth out any of the raised parts. So once you remove the lifting, you it's gonna be different. It's gonna have texture and it's gonna be, it's not gonna be leveled. So what you're gonna do is try to level off the surface and make it as smooth as possible. You wanna have it really smooth and really even so that the nails don't come out looking really lumpy. And just in the end process, it's gonna look a lot better Okay, so we have this as smooth as I can get it with the file. This is what it's looking like so far. As you can see, you can tell where the natural nail is and where the dip powder is, but that's all gonna get fixed in a little bit. So once I do that, I go in with a very fine and very pointy bit that is going to help me remove some of the dead skin cells around the cuticle it's gonna make for a nice and smooth cuticle line you know what i'm talking about that nice perfect little smile line around the cuticle with no skin you want to remove all of that dead skin cell because that's what's going to grab onto your dip powder and can cause the powders to look unfinished so what I do is go in with this little file. It's nice and gentle and it's not hurting at all. It's just gonna remove all of the dead skin cell. Once all that dead skin cell is removed with a bit, I still go in with my cuticle nippers to remove any excess skin. What the file does is remove anything from the in between the nail and the actual cuticle. This is going to remove more of the topical or surface cuticle skin 
and if you don't feel comfortable doing this you can always just go in with like a nail brush and brush off as much as possible I feel very comfortable doing this and I've done this for many many years so I feel comfortable going ahead and using the cuticle nippers but like always patience and practice is what's ultimately gonna get you the experience you need to feel comfortable doing something anything regardless of what whatever it is and this is what it's looking like so far as you can see it all the cuticle area has been cleaned off the dip color has been removed and we are ready to move on to the next step I'm gonna go in with a very fine grit type of file it's like a buffer block and I'm using the finest side of the block just to go ahead and still even out the nail as much as possible this is gonna create even more of a smoother base for the dip powder application so that the nails don't look lumpy <laughs> And this is how the nails are looking like once I'm done with that I go in with some alcohol to remove any excess powder to remove any excess dirt and to remove any oils from the nails it's time to start prepping and get the next step going so to start off I'm gonna go in with the bond liquid this is the first step even though the alcohol does remove a lot of the oils from the natural nail this is going to give you more prep for your nail so you don't get as much lifting and I am also going to go in with Kara Sky Natural this is not a clear powder but if you don't have natural you can go in with clear and it'll ultimately give you the same result the base coat that I'm using is the triple vitamin base coat I really enjoy this liquid it's very user friendly and it doesn't dry too fast so the first layer that I do I place the base liquid right up onto where the edge of my last set and the beginning of my natural nail meet so it creates kind of like a buffer or like a little bridge in between the natural nail and the previous dip powder application so I don't go all the way to the tip of my nail and I don't go all the way down to my cuticle but I do get it as close to the cuticle as possible just try to eyeball it in between like the bridge in between both the natural nail and the previous dip application I don't know if that makes a lot of sense but if you see I'm not really placing the liquid throughout the whole entire nail now for my second dip of natural I do coat the entire nail with the base liquid from the very close to the cuticle all the way to the tippity top of the nail and this is going to create a strong looking nail and it's going to be ready for whatever set you want to place on top. So once the powders have been applied and you've dipped into the either clear or natural, it's time to activate it so that the nails can harden. I am using this activator from Liafu. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. It was really inexpensive on Amazon and it came with the activator and a base coat as well as a little orange stick and a little file a little nail file so I thought that was a really good deal and so far so good 
I've been liking how it has been working and it was very inexpensive. I like to go in with two coats of the activator just to make sure that it coats my entire nail. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna file and then I'll show you guys the finished result for the prep. So this is the final result. Now I can either leave it like this and continue on with my nails another day without risking my nails to break since these are my natural nails or I can just go right in with the next set and get creative and start creating a beautiful set for the nails so that is all for today you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and i love you guys and stay blessed bye